more than a partner. He's actually a friend to everyone, not only in the police department, but out, out of the community at community events. And if you had an opportunity to meet. A suspect is dead, and a police canine is recovering tonight after a call about a stolen vehicle turned into a multi city police pursuit that eventually ended in gunfire. Fox 9's Rob Olson has the very latest tonight. A lot of jurisdictions involved in this one, but the BCA is involved in the overall investigation because it was an officer involved shooting, and we're still awaiting to find out more about exactly who was shot and killed. The canine who was shot is part of the Anoka Police Department, and the good news there is that he's already been released from the U of M Vet Hospital. We consider him a, a law enforcement officer, part of our department. K9 Bravo, who joined Anoka Police in 2017, was shot through the neck. The bullet hit his trachea. He had trouble breathing, which is why when brought to the U of M Vet School Sunday night, they initially planned and prepped for surgery. But then imaging showed the wound it appeared to close on its own and that Bravo would be fine. It's a sigh of relief for us at the police department and for the Anoka community to know that um, not only did it survive, but uh, there's a chance that he could get back to work and that is my goal is to get him back to work. Anoka police was just one of the agencies responding to what began as a felony theft at the Coles in Blaine turned into an armed carjacking and then a pursuit. Newly released video from MnDOT shows the two suspects leading law enforcement on Highway 65 through Anoka County then into Isandy County to just south of Brom. The stolen vehicle disabled the suspects then fled on foot before exchanging gunfire with police and Bravo had been released to help catch them. One suspect was shot and killed by police, his identity not yet released. The other, a 27-year-old, taken into custody unharmed, booked on charges including aggravated robbery, fleeing police, driving after cancellation, and parole and probation violations. Bravo is currently Anoka's only canine, partnered with Officer Jake Sordeberg. The pair are pretty well known throughout the community. It's truly amazing to see the out, uh, outreach from the public, and we, we love that. And we, we, uh, I, I want to know, let everybody know that uh, we hear you. Yeah, again, K9 Bravo released from the U of M this afternoon to go home and heal with his handler with hopes that he'll be able to come back to work with the department in the future. In Anoka, Robelson, Fox 9.